What a powerful story to follow. Good evening. I'm Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And before I get started, I want to say I have always been proud to stand with President Trump, but never have I been more proud than to stand with him right now, tonight. Not even an assassin's bullet could stop him. God Almighty intervened because America is one nation under God, and he is certainly not finished with President Trump. And our country is better for it. I am here tonight as America's youngest governor, the first the first woman to lead the great state of Arkansas. And most importantly, a mom to three amazing kids, Scarlett, Huck, George. When I was President Trump's White House press secretary, the best job, I got the chance to take my four-year-old son, Huck, to bring your kid to work day. Much like Jill now drags Joe to bring your husband to work there. And while I was briefing the president on the upcoming event in the Oval Office, all of the kids who were attending that day gathered in the Rose Garden getting ready to meet him. And we were walking out onto that beautiful, perfect colonnade. And I saw out of the corner of my eye that my son Huck was running full speed directly at the President of the United States. <laughs> Being the gracious person he is, President Trump bent down to give him a big hug. And right in front of everyone, Huck sidestepped the President completely ignoring him in front of everyone and ran straight into my arms. For my four-year-old son, the most powerful man in the world, had nothing on his mom. But because he's the amazing man he is, President Trump didn't mind at all. After all, he's a dad to five unbelievable kids and a grandfather to ten. And while that story is certainly a special memory for my family, it's an even greater reminder why I support President Trump, not for me, not for him, but for my kids and for yours. <laughs> Under President Trump, America was safer. The world was safer. And it felt like the next generation would have a chance at the American dream. President Trump did the job that Kamala won't and Joe Biden simply can't. When we're honest, every American knows 
that we were so much better off under President Trump. So tonight, I don't want to just speak about President Trump's successful policies. While there are many, I want to talk about the man that I know. When the President hired me, I was the first mom and only the third woman to ever serve as the White House Press Secretary. And in that role, I endured relentless attacks from the left. I was insulted as a guest at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. My family was denied service and kicked out of a restaurant. And a parent at my three-year-old son's preschool spit on my car. And in those moments, it was President Trump who defended me. And when an MSNBC host, the author of several books on empowering women, said I was unfit to be a mother, and another MSNBC host said I was vile, not even human, and that I should be choked, MSNBC again did nothing. But our president pulled me aside, looked me in the eye, and said, Sarah, you're smart, you're beautiful, you're tough, and they attack you because you're good at your job. Never let them stop fighting. Thank you, Mr. President. That's the Donald Trump that I know, and that's the Donald J. Trump I will always respect. The left doesn't care about empowering women. Biden and Harris can't even tell you what a woman is. They only care about empowering themselves. But we have a president who believes in empowering every American and that our country is worth fighting for. For the last four years, Republican governors have been leading that fight and doing what Joe Biden refuses to do. We've deployed the National Guard to the border. We've cracked down on crime and drugs. We cut taxes to give hardworking Americans a break from Biden inflation. And we empowered parents with universal school choice across the country. Donald Trump was the very first president in my lifetime to take a hard line against China, and I'm proud to be the first and only governor in the country to kick communist China off our farmland and out of my state. President Trump is a leader, and he's the leader our country needs. And if ever there was a doubt, earlier this week, we saw just how tough, resilient, courageous, and daring this man is, and we can't get him back in the White House fast enough.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are not called to stand still in the face of great danger. You and I were put on this earth at a moment in time to charge boldly ahead. We cannot know what the future holds, but we know damn sure who holds the future in his hands. God spared President Trump from that assassin because God is not finished with him yet. And he most certainly is not finished with America yet either. With God as our guide and President Trump back in the White House, we will show the world that America is the place where freedom reigns and liberty will never die. Ladies and gentlemen, Tonight, let us not leave here just excited about a great few days, but let us leave here energized and committed to making sure that we protect our freedom and we have the ability to pass it on to the next generation because America is the greatest country that the world has ever known and our kids and our grandkids deserve to enjoy it the way each of us did. And we will with President Trump back in the White House. Thank you so much. God bless the great state of Arkansas and the amazing United States of America. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.